A lot more people are trying to get their hands on cleaning products these days because we're home all the time trying to clean and also because it's spring cleaning. The challenge is that a lot of shelves, whether they're in store or virtual, are actually short of cleaning products because cleaning products are a hot commodity right now. And the other part of this is that people are looking for ways to save money as always, but especially now. So in this video, we thought it would be really a great idea to teach you some of our all-time favorite DIY cleaning products. Cleaning products that are not only very inexpensive to make, but yeah. easily accessible based on what you already have at home, functional, and of course safe around little people and pets. For this, you'll need water, dish soap, tea tree oil, and a clean spray bottle. Add two cups of water, 10 drops of essential oil, I'm using tea tree, and a teaspoon of dish soap. Close it up, give it a good shake, and there you go. An all-purpose cleaner that you can safely use almost anywhere in your home. To make this simple recipe, all you'll need is water, dish soap, essential oils, and a spray bottle. Add two cups of water to your spray bottle, then a teaspoon of dish soap, and follow that with 10 drops of your favorite essential oil. Tea tree is a great option for countertops. Pop on the lid and use this to wipe up everyday spills and messes that occur in your kitchen. For this recipe, you'll need white vinegar, water, tea tree oil, and a clean spray bottle. To your spray bottle, add one half cup of water, one cup of white vinegar, and 20 drops of tea tree oil. Keep this spray bottle in your shower, and when you're finished getting nice and clean, simply spray your shower walls with the solution, and that will prevent soap scum from forming on the walls. For this recipe, you'll need hot water, hydrogen peroxide, washing soda, lemons, and a big bucket. Cut two lemons into chunks and add them to your blender. Then add one cup of hydrogen peroxide to the blender and blend well until it becomes a slurry. Add hot water and the lemon slurry to the bucket and finish off by adding in your washing soda. Give it a quick stir and add in your garments that need to be bleached. Let them soak for eight hours, rinse them and launder as usual. For this recipe, you'll need baking soda, hydrogen peroxide, a small container and a cleaning toothbrush. In your container, mix a half cup of baking soda and a quarter cup of hydrogen peroxide. Give it a quick stir until it turns into a runny paste. Apply it to your grout with the cleaning toothbrush, leave it for a few minutes, and then scrub away. All you'll need for this is distilled water, castile soap, almond oil, essential oils, and an empty soap pump. Add half a cup of distilled water, and half a cup of Castile soap, along with one tablespoon of almond oil, which is great for moisturizing, and 20 drops of your favorite essential oils, which will help the soap smell delightful. Shake it up in the bottle, and now you're ready to wash your hands. All you'll need is distilled water, colorless, flavorless vodka, citrus fruits and herbs, of course, use what you like, and a spray bottle. Add one cup of distilled water, add one cup of vodka, one cup of your favorite herbs, and one cup of chopped citrus peels. That makes it easier to put them in the bottle. 
The longer you let this combination sit, the better. So if you can leave this in a jar for two weeks, amazing. Then strain it out and pour it into a spray bottle. Shake it all up, spray, and your room will smell great. For this, you'll need water, white vinegar, cornstarch, and a clean spray bottle. Add one tablespoon of cornstarch, one cup of white vinegar, and one cup of water to your spray bottle. Shake it well and make sure you shake it each time you use it. That way you disperse the cornstarch. Spray on glass, wipe it off, and you'll see streak-free and nice and clean in no time. For this recipe, you'll need hydrogen peroxide, Castile soap, water, baking soda, tea tree essential oil, a squirt bottle, and if you have stubborn toilet rings, you can use a pumice stone. To your squirt bottle, add one half cup of baking soda, one half cup water, a quarter cup of Castile soap, a quarter cup of hydrogen peroxide, and 15 drops of tea tree essential oil. Shake it up well and then apply it to the inner rim of your toilet bowl. Let it sit for about five to 10 minutes and then scrub it as you normally would flush your toilet, and watch how nice and clean everything becomes. Now, if you do have those stubborn toilet bowl rings, that's when you can scrub with the pumice stone. For this recipe, you'll need dish soap, white vinegar, essential oils if you feel like it, and a clean spray bottle. Start by adding one half cup of white vinegar, then add your essential oils, about 10 drops, and then one half cup of dish soap. Give it a quick shake and then take it to any soap scum infested areas. Give it a good spray with this product. Let it sit for a few minutes, scrub it well with a sponge, rinse it, dry it, and you'll see that soap scum is gone. For this recipe, you'll need distilled water, rubbing alcohol, and a spray bottle. To your spray bottle, add a quarter cup of rubbing alcohol and a quarter cup of distilled water. Now, because this spray bottle can hook onto my pants, I had to be a little dramatic. Spray the product onto your cloth, then wipe your electronic item, and you're done. For this recipe, all you'll need is a jug of white vinegar and your favorite essential oils. I love using lavender here, by the way. Just add 50 drops of your essential oils. Again, you can use a straight one or a combination and bam, you've got yourself fabric softener. All you're going to need is dish soap, white vinegar, and water, and of course, a spray bottle. Start by adding two cups of water, a half cup of white vinegar, and a half teaspoon of dish soap. Shake it well, and now you have a hardwood floor cleaner. I like to use this one with a flat head mop. I just spray and then mop going in the direction of the grain to reduce the appearance of streaks. For this recipe, you'll need boiling hot water, white vinegar, dish soap, and a big bucket. Oh, and a double-sided squeegee. To your bucket, add one teaspoon of dish soap, one cup of white vinegar, and a gallon of hot water. Mix this up with your squeegee and then get to cleaning those stubborn, dirty outdoor windows.
For this recipe, you'll need water, rubbing alcohol, white vinegar, essential oils, and a spray bottle. Start by adding half a cup of water, then half a cup of rubbing alcohol, and finally, half a cup of white vinegar. And if you want, 10 drops of your favorite essential oil. Mix these ingredients together in a spray bottle and shake well. Spray onto a section of laminate floor and mop along the direction of the grain to reveal a beautiful streak-free shine. These easy and inexpensive cleaners are perfect to use, frankly, now and going forward. So I hope you've enjoyed it. If you found this video helpful, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, what are you waiting for? Make sure that you subscribe to the Clean My Space channel. I should also tell you Riley was playing with our famous Makers Clean microfiber cloths. We are having a sale on our website right now, so you should totally go and check that out. As usual, you don't need a coupon code. Everything's gonna be knocked off directly on the website. We hope you're doing well, right Riley? A hug. Oh, a hug. You know what, she'd give all of you a hug if she could. She has a talk. You wanna talk, okay. Well, can you say thanks so much for watching? And we'll see you next time.